in this video we are going to discuss about a c program to implement first fit memory allocation technique we know that we have three dynamic storage allocation techniques first fit best fit worst fit these three techniques are useful in contiguous memory allocation techniques such as mft mvt multi programming with fixed number of task multi programming with variable number of task so with the help of these three techniques first fit best fit worst fit we can load a process in a main memory in these two techniques mft and mvt uh, so now so now let us see the logic first so here we have uh, uh, six blocks uh, block can also be called as uh, partition or fragment or hold we have six blocks these are the sizes of the blocks we have four processes these are the sizes of the processes now we are implementing a c program for first fit so with the help of the first fit we can load a process in main memory so here the logic is very very simple so here what is the first process size 357 so we can't uh, first fit means allocate the first hole that is big enough here 357 we can't store 357 in 200 200 kb of the block so we can say we have to search for the next block so 357 is less than or equal to 400 yes condition is true so store p not process in block 1 so that is the statement here the process 0 is allocated to 400 so that means we are storing process 0 in this block 1 okay uh, uh, next one is 210 210 uh, so let us uh, store uh, let us check whether 210 can be stored in which block so 210 is less than or equal to 200 we can't store uh, 210 in 200 already this 400 is occupied this 400 block contains this p not process okay next uh, Uh, 210 is less than or equal to 600 yes condition is true so we can store this process in this block okay next one is 468 468 we can't store 468 in 200 kb of the block next to 2 are already occupied next to 500 yes we can store here process 2 is allocated to 500 next one is 499 next to process size is 499 so here we can't store 499 uh, kb of the process in uh, 200 kb of the block next to 3 are, are already occupied next to 300 250 we can't store uh, uh, to 499 kb of the process in uh, 300 or 200 okay so that's why here we are displaying the message as process 3 is uh, not allocated okay uh, now let us see the uh, program after that uh, we will come to the uh, output one more time so here these are the inputs here bn specifies block number so how many blocks that we want p number specifies process number how many processes that we want next one is bs array uh, it is for uh, reading the size of the each block bs specifies size of the each block next one is uh, ps of 20 so it is for uh, here uh, uh, we have four processes in this example so maximum we can enter 20 processes okay uh, to specify to read the size of the process next one is i and j uh, so these two are loop variables for repetition purpose we are using these two next to print of enter number of blocks so for the blocks b and o is the variable next one is uh, we have to read the we have to enter size of the blocks for i equal to 0 i less than b and o i plus plus scan of percentage d comma for block size we are using bs of i bs array okay next one is print of enter uh, number of processes so for processes the variable is p number next we have to read the size of the each process so for i equal to 0 i less than p and o i plus plus uh, next we have to read size of the each process so scan of percentage d comma y percent p s of i now let us understand the logic um, this is the here we are using two for loops first for loop is for i equal to 0 i less than p and o i plus plus so in the first iteration i value is 0 that means block number is 0 in the second iteration block number is 1 likewise next one is for j equal to 0 j less than p and o j plus plus okay so here the logic is very very simple 
if ps of j is less than or equal to ps of i so that means if the size of a process is less than or equal to block so if you see here the logic is very very simple in the first iteration uh, here we are checking whether we can accommodate uh, any of this process in zeroth block or not why because in the first iteration we are checking for i is equal to 0 if you see here 357 357 is less than or equal to 200 so we can't store next 210 210 is less than or equal to 200 we can't store 468 is less than or equal to 200 we can't store 499 is less than or equal to 200 we can't store so that means we can't store any of these processes in the zeroth block so that is the logic here okay here all these conditions are false so next what will happen i plus plus so in the second iteration we have to search for i is equal to 1 so that means the first block so 1 is less than or equal to 6 as condition is true next to j value is 0 only so 0 less than how many processes we have 0 less than 4 so this innermost repeat innermost for loop will be repeated for 4 times for 4 processes whether we can store any of these uh, uh, four processes in first block or not so let's check here let's check here yeah so what is the first process 357 so 357 is less than or equal to in the second iteration what is i value 1 357 is less than or equal to 400 yes condition is true so we can store p naught process in the first block now there is no need to check for remaining processes whether 210 can be stored in 400 or not 468 can be stored in 400 or not there is no need to check why because here each partition should contain only one process only each block should contain only one process only so here 357 this process process 0 is already stored in first block so there is no need to check for these uh, remaining three processes so that's why we have to use a statement called break if you see here that is the output here process 0 is alloc allocated to 400 and we are storing a larger number called 10,000 here in the corresponding process we are storing 10,000 okay some larger number larger block number here what is the larger block number 600 so that's why we are storing some larger block number uh, other than 600 we can store 601 uh, uh, 602 700 800 we can store any number which is larger than this uh, block number okay so now this uh, process contains 10,000 as well as we are executing the break statement if you see here here the condition is true so the process percentage d is allocated to percentage d so percentage d means first percentage d means j so that means p naught process next uh, block that block okay ps of j equal to 10000 we are storing some larger bigger value so that this condition will be false if this condition is true then what will happen again that process will be stored but already uh, that ps of 0 is available there okay and execute the break statement so there is no need to check for the remaining iterations okay remaining processes next to what will happen uh, next to j will become 5 uh, after executing the break what will happen the control comes out from the innermost for loop next i will become 2 so in the next iteration i value is 2 so now there is no need to check 0th block first block why because already those two blocks are already compared now again we have to start comparison from 0th process what does p not contain p not previously contains a larger number called 10,000 so 10,000 is less than or equal to 600 condition is false suppose if we didn't store 10,000 here then what will happen this 357 will again stored in this block so that's why we are storing some larger number so 10,000 is less than or equal to 600 false uh, next 210 is less than or equal to 600 yes condition is true so that's why we are displaying that message process 1 is allocated to 600 now we execute the break statement so that uh, the remaining processes won't be checked here the remaining conditions won't be compared next uh, uh, we need to place 10,000 in this process also in p1 also why because p1 process is placed in the main memory so now this uh, p0 process contains 10,000 p1 process contains 10,000 if we have 10,000 in the process then it specifies that that process is stored in the main memory if we have other than 10,000 then it specifies that process is not stored 
so now this iteration is over so next what will happen i plus plus so already 200 block is over 400 block is over 600 block is over next i will become this value this 3 now in this iteration we have to set these processes for 500 so now 357 210 already these two processes are stored in the main memory so here the value is 10,000 10,000 so 10,000 is less than or equal to 500 false next here also p1 also contains 10,000 so 10,000 is less than or equal to 500 as condition is false next to next to process is 468 468 is less than or equal to 500 yes condition is true so that means we can store p2 process in third block so process 2 is allocated to 500 now we again we have to store 10,000 in place of 468 and execute the break statement so next what will happen 499 so 499 will be compared with uh, yeah previously 500 up to this one is over so now i value will become 4 so 499 is less than or equal to 600 499 is less than or equal to 600 300 condition is false 499 is less than or equal to 250 so condition is false so that means process 3 cannot be stored in the main memory that sufficient uh, uh, main memory space is not available that's why we are displaying the message as process 3 is not allocated if you see here if you see here so here yeah everything is over next control comes out from the all the for loops for i equal to 0 for j equal to 0 j less than pn j plus plus if ps of j not equal to 10,000 already ps of 0 contains 10,000 1 also contains 10,000 2 also contains 10,000 but ps of 3 doesn't contain 10,000 so ps of 3 contains that process size only that means 499 only so 499 is not equal to 10,000 condition is true so that's why we will get this message the process that percentage d that id what is that id 3 the process 3 is not allocated so this is the program now let us see the yeah now let us see the program so this is our program i will share this program code in the first comment i will ping the comment so please go through the first comment so first we have to read number of blocks next to size of the blocks next number of processes uh, next to size of the each process this is the logic here if that process size is less than or equal to block size uh, then we can store the process uh, in the main memory and set the value to 10,000 break next if ps of j not equal to 10,000 then uh, uh, execute it okay now let us uh, see the output enter number of blocks so here totally we have how many blocks are there here totally we have six blocks so let us enter the number six blocks next uh, zeroth block size 200 next 400 so next uh, uh, 600 next 500 next uh, 300 next uh, 250 next uh, 350 next enter number of processes how many process we have four process size of the first process is 357 uh, next to process is uh, uh, 210 next one is uh, 468 next one is uh, 499 499 if you see here process 0 is allocated to this 400 uh, next one process 1 is allocated to 600 so next one uh, 500 next to process 3 is not allocated so this is about uh, first fit program in the next video you will see about uh, best fit thank you